is AP News Minute. Report of oil washing ashore. They just a moved a motorcycle line. accident out of the left well, lane. The world's largest atom smasher set a new record. Engineers are this testing morning. new kind the of train. The first wind farm will be built here. come into engineering, I need you to be thinking, how do I help the world become a better place? Because that's really what we're all about. We look at the world's problems, and then we try to design systems and solutions and devices to help people live their lives better. We see engineering as central to the solution of any of society's grand challenges, from how do we get clean water, to how do we generate uh, clean, cost-effective energy. It, it's a profession that I think does have a tremendous social impact. A good question would be how, how does such a st statement of need come up? How, how do we come up with these needs? And that's the creative, that's the sort of quote-unquote artistic part of engineering. People don't think of, it, of us as artists, but, but we often do think of ourselves as people who, who do invent and create. And uh, very often it's, you know, it could be incremental or revolutionary. Clearly this is a Research One university, so part of our mission is the advancement and dissemination of knowledge, invention, creation. And therefore, it's part of our daily life to, one, compete and then execute research projects. Uh, but don't, we don't decouple that from a teaching mission. This naturally creates uh, opportunities for students to be engaged in the projects, and not only graduate students. What uh, this is, is a step on the path to a career. A student should select a program where they can come and flourish and get to the point where they want to be in four years. Where, where can residence be a bad thing? Come here and we'll open up the world for you. You will have a very, very solid occupation. And at the same time, you'll find an avenue to pursue your passions. I've worked in labs ever since I started here, really. <laughs> so my first work started with the, the Phoenix Mars Lander. So as an undergraduate, it's, it, there's a lot of opportunity to, to get involved with research. The idea is to give an undergraduate a laboratory experience where they can work closely with a faculty member, where they can discover, where they can work closely with the graduate students as well, and be a part of this whole idea of knowledge creation. It's all coupled because if we now work on a new microprocessor design, we'll immediately teach about this. There if we go. now invent a new wireless protocol to send data through our wireless network faster, we'll most likely introduce that element into, into the classroom as well. And then they have incredible opportunities to work in areas that allow them to be creative, that are emerging, and areas of high technology in areas that reach out to medicine, to social sciences, to arts. You can take classes that involve, for example, cognition, which is from psychology. So even though you think you're studying these possibly boring little electronic circuits, you realize that you can study ideas of cognition and mimic that. There's a lot of tricky math there if you were to adjust the image in real time for the rotational speed. This class is all about integrating the artistic expertise that the students 
have in the School of Theatre Arts with the very solid engineering background, the scientific expertise that our students have. There's the brains of the operation, which is... Very, very few of them have this type of an opportunity to realize that there are avenues that they can pursue that combine perhaps their artistic passion with their engineering background. The opportunities are almost limitless as a department. It's kind of the, the math behind it and, and the sensors that we have to eventually install. So what we want to do is, is have all these sensors and hook them up to a computer and have the computer just control the car by itself. I think that's really cool. I think we have approximately 30 or 34 clubs at last count. Our motto is infinite possibilities and so if you come in with an idea we're going to figure out how to help you do that idea, and a lot of that is through our, our student club process. The clubs is where you get to apply the learning that you've already learned. It's where you get to have the fun. I mean, I actually did torque and stress analysis in Baja, and it, it was exciting. which is S minus 10. In the University of Arizona, yes, we like to pride ourselves as we like faculty in the classroom. We're not a place that likes to put a lot of graduate students in front of students, especially during the first two years. And, and in fact, we've, we've made a conscious effort that we want our best instructors in front of our freshmen and sophomores. It's all about the value proposition. We're gonna help kids. Well, what's happening? They help you out with your classwork, but then they also help you out with other things, like with your career or where you're thinking about going in the field. So I think that's really, really amazing. <laughs> we are nurturing in terms of recognizing special needs. It might be help with classes, help with mentorship, perhaps help with the socioeconomic issues. Uh, we are very generous as a department. There are years when we hand out close to half a million dollars in stipends and fellowships. So the students are very much helped throughout the process. It's going to take hard work and it's going to take desire and our job is to motivate you to put that effort in and when you get out of here you're going to be extremely valuable whether you go to graduate school or whether you go to industry. The University of Arizona has a wonderful placement organization but to be honest uh, all of our faculty are extremely well connected to the industry. We place our students in the exact same companies as the Georgia Techs and the Purdue's and the Penn State's and the Michigan's. We place our students in the exact same graduate programs as the Georgia Techs, the Purdue's, the Penn State's and the Michigan's. We're fearless uh, and we're not afraid to tackle problems in any area that those problems come from. Here's the indicators, now we're being kind of specific. Come here because you will be respected, you will be nurtured you will be provided the opportunity to discover and follow your passion and you will receive a very solid foundation for lifelong learning and a lifelong career.